Welcome to another example of time and work where we will find out how to calculate wages when two workers are working together. A sum of money is sufficient to pay Rohini's wages for 21 days and Nisha's wages for 28 days. If both are working together, for how many days is the money sufficient for? So here let's assume that the total money is X. So let total money be X rupees. Now Rohini is making X rupees in 21 days. So in 21 days, she's making X rupees. So what is the amount of money that she will make in one day? Let this be Y. So here we have to find Y. So cross multiplication 21 Y is equal to X or Y is equal to X by 21. So Rohini's one day wage is equal to x divided by 21 rupees and similarly Nisha's one day wage will be equal to x divided by 28 rupees. Now if both of them are working together then one day wage for Rohini plus Nisha will be equal to x divided by 21 plus x divided by 28. Now let's find out the LCM. So 21, 28, 7, 3s are 21 and 4s are 28. So LCM is 7 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. Now 7 3s are 21 and 21 multiplied by 4 is 84. So 84 is the LCM. 21 which was 7 multiplied by 3. 4 times is 84. So this becomes 4x plus 28 which was 7 multiplied by 4. 3 times is 84. So 3 x so this is 7 x by 84 7 ones are 7 ones are 7 1 carry over 7 twos are 14 so this is 1 by 12 x so one day's wage is 1 by 12 x so the total number of days that the money will be sufficient for is the reverse of this which is 12 days. Now we can also solve this using a faster and quicker method. So the money is sufficient to pay Rohini's wages for 21 days and Nisha's wages for 28 days. So let's say that they are able to complete the work when they work individually in 21 and 28 days and the money is sufficient to pay for the entire work. Now when both of them work, we have to find out in how many days will they be able to complete the entire work. And that is the number of days for which the money will be sufficient for. Now we know from earlier examples that the total number of days for both Rohini and Nisha will be equal to number of days taken by Rohini multiplied by the number of days taken by Nisha divided by number of days taken by Rohini plus number of days taken by Nisha. So this is 21 multiplied by 28 divided by 21 plus 28 
21 multiplied by 28 divided by 8 plus 1 is 9 and 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 3s are 21 and 7 7s are 49 and 7 4s are 28. So this becomes 12 days. So this is the faster method to solve this example.